We know that some animals are naturally difficult. They're either wild or just not that keen on doing what they're told. Some are exceptionally strong-willed and almost impossible to deal with. Others are just downright naughty. Most you're best to avoid at all costs. But some can be persuaded if you put in the hard work. From the rare white tiger that can be a little temperamental, to the water dweller that resembles an old warship at full sail, here are 15 animals you don't want problems with. Number 15. White Tigers As babies, white tigers look very much like your run-of-the-mill domestic cat. They are cute and cuddly, but they hide a secret that can't be kept for too long. Underneath the fluffy exterior is a wild animal just waiting to pounce. And this is where the problem lies. People are literally scrambling to have these animals as pets, but forget they are very strong and dangerous animals in the making. No one should ever mess with a white tiger, or trust them for that matter. One day they could be all cute and cuddly, the next a savage beast. Part of the reason is that they're a bit of a crossbreed, originating in the pure Bengal strain in India. Later in captivity, the Siberian tiger was crossed over the Bengal to create the bigger and more impressive white tiger. Although white, they're not considered albino and due to their mutated genes and inbreeding required, tend to have a shorter lifespan than your average orange tiger. A rare breed, there have been none seen in the wild in India for over 50 years. This is because they all live in captivity. Popular as pets and as attractions at wildlife parks, white tigers can be trained, but it's no easy task. If you're not prepared to put in the time, you might be best to stick to their much smaller feline cousin. They're less likely to maim or even kill you if things go wrong. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed while you're sleeping. <laughs> Number 14. Portuguese Man o' War. This ocean dweller forms part of the siphonophore family, a group of animals that are closely related to jellyfish. Not to be mistaken for an actual jellyfish, the Portuguese man o' war is a fascinating animal made up of a colony of organisms working together. They are recognized by their balloon-like float that rises up to six inches above the waterline. This float resembles an old warship at full sail and sounds a warning to steer clear. Colored blue, violet, or pink, and mainly found in tropical and subtropical seas, the Man o' War is also known as the Floating Terror. Their tentacles are long and thin and can extend 165 feet below the surface. They are covered in venom-filled nematocysts that are capable of paralyzing and killing fish and other small animals. This venom is rarely deadly to humans, but the sting is excruciatingly painful even if the animal has already died. So if you notice one is washed up on shore, or even just a detached tentacle, it's probably best to just leave it alone. Number 13. Urena. These large eels are common in the Mediterranean, particularly in rocky sections or coral reefs. They are recognized by their wide mouth, strong jaw, and formidable teeth. Generally sharply pointed, the teeth allow the murina to seize their prey and inflict serious injuries. These wounds are often dangerous and even lethal when dished out to other fish. But humans too prefer to avoid these eels as much as possible. A formidable opponent, they can measure over 5 feet long, weigh over 15 kilograms, and are often hidden in shallow water. Fishermen fear them as they attack without warning, causing both injury and loss of their catch. Experts would have you believe they seldom attack unless provoked, but they also labeled them as territorial, so no doubt accidentally standing on one would be considered a dangerous maneuver. The majority of Murena have a long fin running along the back of their head. Their skin is smooth, slimy, and generally a rich brown in color with large yellowish spots. 
they prefer rocky bottoms and mainly live at depths of between 5 to 80 meters. These eels are both solitary and nocturnal, spending most of the day in rock cavities, preferring to venture out under the cover of darkness. Number 12. Hippos Hippos are semi-aquatic land animals. They are also very loud. In fact, according to experts at the San Diego Zoo, their snorts, grumbles, and wheezes have been measured at 115 decibels. If you've ever been to a rock concert and got within 15 feet of the speakers, then you might have some idea of the level of noise these characters make. Can you imagine living with something that noisy? It would be worse than a snoring partner. Worse still, they're not only loud, they're also super aggressive and considered very dangerous. Oh man. Their enormous heads are home to extremely large teeth, and their tusks provide the perfect weapon to fend off any threats, including those of the human variety. According to the BBC, up to 500 people are killed by hippos every year in Africa, and sometimes even their young fall victim to one of the older members' temper. If caught in the middle of a tussle, they can be seriously injured or even killed. The largest land animal on the planet, hippos move easily through the water, but they can't actually swim. They essentially glide along by using other objects to push themselves off, even if that object is another hippo. Number 11. Elephants the largest animal on Earth, elephants are highly social and, not unlike us humans, display a complex range of behaviors. Adult males and females live apart from one another in their own separate, structured societies. The basic family unit consists of a mother and her young, plus her grown daughters and their offspring. A matriarch, usually the largest cow in the herd, is in charge. She normally walks at the front with the herd following her, and another large female elephant brings up the rear. Herds range from 2 to 24 elephants. Most members will help others out by looking after their young and will rush to protect any calf in trouble. They communicate with each other by uttering rumbles, bellows, growls, and the occasional trumpet. They express anger with trunk swishing, spreading their ears out and shaking their heads. Normally peaceful animals, the females of the species can be quite aggressive when young calves are present and they feel threatened. Bulls are likely to be bad-tempered during the mating season, and all elephants should be avoided when they are sick, injured, or feeling harassed. With their superior strength and social position, elephants should never be underestimated under any circumstances. Number 10. Wolves Wolves are extremely wary of humans and vice versa. Surprisingly, they're not considered aggressive towards people by nature, with attacks by them quite rare. In fact, contrary to popular belief, or at least from what we see in movies, the chances of seeing a wolf in the wild are small. This makes life difficult for those trying to understand these animals, but is probably good news for those who find themselves lost in the wilderness. In general, these elusive carnivores try to keep clear of humans, but like most animals, if they feel threatened, you better duck and run. They are also very territorial, and fights between packs are common and among the principal cause of wolf mortality. An angry and aggressive wolf is pretty easy to spot, with its ears erect and its fur bristling. Like domestic dogs, their lips may curl back to reveal their dangerous bite. Wolves feed on large, wild, hooved animals, as well as smaller animals, including livestock. This has given them a reputation with members of the pastoral communities who are often known to hunt them to ensure the safety of their animals. Number 9. Saltwater Crocodiles These large, semi-aquatic reptiles can be found right throughout the tropics of Africa, Asia, the Americas, and Australia. 
Most crocs and their relatives are considered relatively harmless to people, as they would rather avoid them. But the saltwater variety is a different story altogether. These guys will often go out of their way to show their aggression. Strongly territorial, the saltwater croc is responsible for several dozen attacks on people every year. With their extremely powerful jaws and strong teeth, these crocodiles have the strongest bite in the animal kingdom. They can also hold their breath underwater for very long periods of time, which makes them the perfect predator. They are able to hunt large land mammals, including buffalo, deer, and wild boar, snatching them and dragging them down to their watery domain. Here, they will hold them until they drown. As cold-blooded predators, they have a very slow metabolism. This means that they can go for long periods without eating, which is fortunate for their prey, I would imagine. Despite appearing slow, they're considered one of the top predators in their environment and are capable of killing other predators like sharks and big cats. Now that's impressive. Number 8. Lion Commonly known as the king of the jungle, the lion is the second largest of all cats in the world. These regal animals once roamed Africa, Asia, and Europe, but are now only found in parts of Africa and India. They prefer to live on grassy plains and savannas rather than dense forests, and are one of the most widely recognized animal symbols in human culture. The lion features extensively throughout the world in sculptures and paintings, on national flags, and in contemporary films and books, such as The Jungle Book and The Lion King. As apex predators, they sit at the top of the food chain and are one of the most feared and revered animals on the planet. <laughs> Ruthless yet majestic, the lion is deeply admired, but usually from a safe distance. An adult male can measure up to 4 feet tall and weigh over 400 pounds. They're no lightweight and should be approached with extreme caution, if at all. If you're in their territory, make sure you are aware of your surroundings. As social creatures, there's likely to be more than one loitering about. The females are the main hunters and form a hunting party. They surround and take down their prey together, using their powerful jaws to snap the animal's neck or strangle it to death. If the prey is particularly large, like an elephant or water buffalo, the male may join in the hunt. Number 7. Dogs Dogs can be loyal and lovable and have long been described as man's and woman's best friend. They can provide comfort and protection, but they can also be unpredictable and dangerous. Aggression is a common and serious behavioral problem in dogs. In fact, depending on their upbringing, temperament, and circumstances, any canine can be a threat, no matter how innocent looking. Even small dogs are capable of causing harm, with chihuahuas considered among the most vicious. According to vets, this breed is the most common pooch to sink their teeth in. These little dogs are known to cause as much damage as larger breeds, however, as the size and force of their jaws doesn't allow it. Most dogs will sound a warning of sorts before attacking and will usually only do so if they feel threatened, particularly the domesticated type. Wild breeds, on the other hand, are a whole different ball game, and altercations should be avoided at all costs. Like wolves, they are pack animals, and some domestic dogs display the same tendencies. They bark and charge at people or other animals encroaching on their home turf. Some dogs are chosen for this territorial behavior, others are avoided for the same reason. Puppies rarely show territorial aggression. Aggression is a learned behavior and one that appears as the animal matures into adolescence or adulthood and shows a distinct lack of appropriate training. Number 6. Snakes there are more than 3,000 species of snake on the planet, some venomous, others non-venomous. They are found everywhere except Antarctica, Iceland, Ireland, Greenland, and New Zealand, and are known to strike fear into most people. 
Of the 3,000 species, 600 are venomous, and only 200 or 7% are capable of killing or significantly wounding a human. The chances that an encounter with a snake will leave you uninjured and alive are actually pretty good, but that doesn't stop people from avoiding them. In fact, even the likelihood of you running into a venomous snake is relatively minuscule. But still, people fear them. Non-venomous snakes can also be very dangerous. These range from the harmless garter snake to the python. These incredibly strong snakes dispatch their victims by swallowing them alive or wrapping around them and constricting them to death. No matter what method they use to kill their victims, nearly all snakes eat their food whole. It's an astonishing sight, too, given that a good portion of their prey are larger than they are. Number 5. Sharks the average number of unprovoked shark attacks from 2013 to 2017 was 84, but research indicates in some parts of the world this number is on the rise. In parts of the US and southern Australia, shark attack rates have almost doubled, and in Hawaii they have risen even further. It's not surprising that an increase in the number of people in the water is directly linked to the rising number of recorded attacks. I mean, it stands to reason that this would be the case. Humans are like ungainly packets of meat when paddling in the ocean and are easy prey to a shark, especially when compared with fast-moving fish and seals. Why wouldn't a shark take the easy option? It's hard to blame them. With a fearsome reputation for attacking humans in warm and deep waters, it's easy to see why people are terrified of them. Truth be told, lightning strikes kill more people in the US than sharks. But as an apex predator, the shark is still the most feared. Cold-blooded souls that never sleep, they can be fast, violent, and ultimately deadly. So it's important to remember when you're in the water what you're up against. If you must enter the deep, dark depths of the ocean, keep your wits about you. I mean, it's their home, not yours. Number 4. African Cape Buffalo A pest to ranchers, a prize to hunters, and a temperamental tank to anything that bothers it, these large bovines are not to be messed with. The African Cape Buffalo roams Sub-Saharan Africa and is said to have a memory like an elephant. If you ever cross one, be warned, they won't stop until they find you. They are one of four distinct subspecies of the African Buffalo and considered the most common. Easily distinguished by their coloring, size, and horn shape, Cape Buffalo form a part of the Big Five, a group that was considered the most dangerous animals to hunt in Africa. The group also included leopards, rhinos, elephants, and lions. When the buffalo aren't fighting off the occasional lion or hunter for that matter, they lead a relatively unexciting life, spending most of their time eating grass and plenty of it. Grumpy and unpredictable, they can run up to 37 miles an hour and are a force to be reckoned with. They are very robust, weighing anywhere up to 1,000 kilograms and can do a whole lot of damage with their horns. When wounded, like most animals, they should be given a wide berth, as they become very aggressive and angry. If provoked, the buffalo will charge and trample anything that is standing in the way. So, watch out! Number 3. Rhino Solidly built and with the ability to wreak havoc if provoked, the rhino is pretty intimidating. With a great horn on their head, these massive beasts should be given a wide berth whenever possible, especially the black rhino. These rhino tend to be more nervous than others and can be quite aggressive if they feel threatened, especially by a poacher. It's hard to blame them, really, given poachers pose the biggest threat to their numbers. Their horns fetch good money on the black market, where they are sold for ornaments or ground into powder for traditional medicine. Even those trying to help them have found themselves on the wrong side of their aggression. White rhino, on the other hand, are a little easier to deal with. If they feel threatened, they simply turn heel and run the other way.
Unfortunately, they don't keep running and will often stop once they believe they're a safe distance away. This fact alone makes them a prime target for poachers and has resulted in their numbers depleting. As such, they are now classified as a near-threatened species. The black rhino is listed as critically endangered, which is the list's highest risk category, with just 5,055 left on the planet. Both breeds are capable of attacking, but the black rhino has more of a reputation for doing so. Once the battle's been won, they will retreat into the deep bush. There, they can keep an eye on the proceedings from a safe distance and will strike again if they feel the need to do so. Number 2. Scorpions There are 2,000 known scorpion species in the world. Of those, approximately 20 are considered either medically important or dangerous to humans. Nocturnal animals, scorpions live in tropical areas and deserts. You would think living in a hot climate, they would spend their days sunbathing, but no. They prefer to shelter in underground holes, beneath rocks, and in burrows during the sunshine hours. In the evening, when the sun has gone down, they venture out to hunt for food. Their main diet consists of birds, centipedes, lizards, mice, possums, and rats. Although they're not exactly large, scorpions can pack a bit of a punch. They are venomous and possess a sting that is comparable to that of a bee. Most are not dangerous, just painful. But there are some species whose venom can be lethal to humans. In fact, there are 25 species of scorpion that are capable of taking lives. This fact is a problem in many places around the globe, especially those where there's a lack of medical expertise or attention available within a suitable time frame. Number 1. Deer Don't let the Walt Disney production of Bambi fool you. Deer are considered one of the most dangerous animals in America. I kid you not. Forget venomous spiders, fearsome alligators, and powerful bears. Little old Bambi and her pals make the list of 16 deadliest animals in the country. The list was compiled using data gathered from the CDC. They found that deer account for 120 fatalities in the United States every year. In fact, the average death by bears, alligators, sharks, and rattlesnakes even pales in comparison. <laughs> But how, you may ask? Surely deer aren't that dangerous. Well, you would be right. It's their penchant for wandering that has them responsible for so many deaths. They head out onto the highway day and night, and unsuspecting drivers hit them. Occasionally, the deer dies. Sometimes they're just stunned, but the poor driver's left either severely injured or killed. So no, this frightening number of deaths isn't due to vicious gorings or stampedes, it's simply bad luck for the hapless character behind the wheel. That's not to say that a mother deer wouldn't attack if she felt her young were threatened, but it's less likely to be a fatal encounter as opposed to the unfortunate traffic accident. Many of you will have come up against an animal at one time in your life that appeared to be friendly, but was anything but. Looks can be incredibly deceiving. There are some that are well known for being difficult, and others where it comes as a surprise. I mean, who knew little doe-eyed Bambi could grow up to be so threatening? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!